Guys, this is just a real short video. Someone asked me um, how I put my copyright watermark on my art. It's always good if you're an artist or a crafter or a photographer. Um, it's always a good thing if you put that copyright symbol on your work. And the only way I do it, um, you can use a photograph or just this, this picture right here has already been scanned and it's in my computer. But as you can see, me enlarge it a little bit as you can see there is no my watermark is not on there yet so this is how I do it um usually if I'm not in a hurry <laughs> I hate to say that um now I have always done this in Photoshop I've never worked with paint shop pro or any of those other programs so my experience is with Photoshop only. So I go over here and see the, the text where I can type on here. And a lot of times if I'm just going to do one line, put one watermark on there, I will get in the most complicated part of the paint in itself and that looks like that's going to be pretty big, so I'll reduce the font on it a little bit. But I might make it big so you can see it. Um, and I just have a real light color, I think, on there right now. I think it's a gray or something. Usually I use white. Um, but this is how you do it. It's real simple. Um, let me do it first. You may not can see that, so let me let me change the color. I'll change it to black so you can see it really good. Or white will probably show up real good right here. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to use black so you can see it. Okay, I just, I'm fixing to top it. I'll top it first and then I'll show you how I do it. Tell you how I do it, I mean. See, it just types directly over the image that way. No one can right click and save it to their computer. If they do save it to their computer, that watermark is going to be there. Um, and then, you know, it would just give someone free reign to like copy, copy your artwork and sell prints and stuff like that. Now, let me see if I can back up a little bit the code to make that C with the circle around it, which is the copyright mark, you you hold the Alt key, and then I use the number keypad, make sure your number lock is on, but then keep holding the Alt, and then 0, 1, 6, 9. And that is the code, the HTML code, for that copyright mark. And then I just do that. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I just had to add this last little note <laughs> to this video. <sighs> Kids. My daughter seen me doing that, and I could tell she was watching me. After I got finished, she came over and she said, you are way over complicating that. And I was like, well, what do you mean? And she said, here, it's this simple. You know how kids are nowadays. They can work on a computer like crazy. She opened up internet, the internet, and she said, now what's that called? And I said, it's a copyright watermark symbol. So she typed it in on the internet and then it took her here and it had that, that you know, symbol right there. And she just highlighted it and hit control C and then jumped back to that picture and hit control V and that copyright watermark showed up on that picture. <laughs> 
<sighs> kids. So you gotta love them. But if you want to do it Holly's way, that's fine too, but <laughs> anyway, maybe I did overcomplicate it, but that's just how I do it. It's easy when you've got the HTML code if you can't get to the copyright watermark symbol on the internet. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>